Now, wasn't that refreshing? A lovely day at the beach, and you caught a murderer. It's like the whole world revolves around you, detective. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still need to get a confession out of Doug or match the blood on the board to Manny. Well, whatever you need, detective, I am solely here for you. Look, I know what you're doing. Being the most selfless devil you've ever met. You're only helping me so that I help you back, which is actually worse than not helping me at all. So thanks, but no thanks. The detective, surely you can appreciate a benevolent gesture. Save it. Lucifer, I know this case doesn't matter to you. Let's not. Ready? Yeah. He's dead, isn't he? Yes, Doug. He's dead. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I'm totally a killer. Look, look you, you don't understand. He, he just came out of nowhere. Can I just calm down, take a breath, and take us through everything from the beginning, okay? I was surfing, man. I caught this killer wave, and he just came out of nowhere. I slammed into him with my board. God, there was so much blood. It was everywhere. God, anytime I closed my eyes, I could hear that awful sound. He just wouldn't stop barking. Um, I'm sorry, did you say barking? That poor seal. I killed him. I killed the dog of the sea. Hold on a second. You, you think you're here because you killed a seal? Yeah. Why else would I be here? Well... Whoa. Manny's dead, too? Pardon me. Cream? Sugar? Or do you take it dark and bitter like your soul? Uh, what? Do you enjoy beating up on your subordinates, Mr. Pierce? Is that why you became a lieutenant? Have we even met? Oh, Charlotte Richards. I'm your new prosecutor, and you're just that kind of bully that makes me miss my old self. If I wasn't on the road to virtue and righteousness, I would crush you like a cockroach. I believe you. <laughs> but look, I don't know what this is about. I'm sorry if I offended you somehow. Oh, I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. Ella Lopez may be astonishingly perky and optimistic, but she doesn't deserve to have her spirit crushed by anyone, especially not a man who, for some unknown reason, she looks up to. Shame on you. Ah, detective, please, I really need you. Ah, detective Douche. Daniel, sorry, sorry, old habits. I think it's because I'm distressed and I need your advice. Now, you've managed to offend the detective more than anyone to the point where she actually divorced you, yet you always seem to bounce back. How? Okay, first off, mm. our divorce was mutual. Mm-hmm. Right, and? And it's not brain surgery, man. You just, you gotta find a way to be thoughtful without getting in her face. Like this one time, I made her breakfast in bed. Nice French toast, whipped cream, homemade jam, and she really loved it. And, you know, maybe if I had done more things like that, I wouldn't be standing alone talking to myself. <laughs>